Hi friends, I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. This is fourth class in trigonometry. In first class, we learn what is angle. In second class, third class, we learn about measurements of an angle. In second class, we learn what is degree measure. In third class, we learn what is centesimal measure, which is also known as grade measure. In fourth class, we will learn what is radian measure. This is very very important measure of an angle. What is radian measure? Radian measure is also known as circular measure. Now we will learn what is the definition of radian. See, first I will consider a circle with center O and radius R. You observe the diagram. I consider a circle with center O and radius R. Now I am considering two points A comma B on this circle such that length of arc AB, this length is same as radius of the circle. Okay, you observe I consider a circle with center O and radius R. Let A comma B are two points on the circle. I am considering two points A comma B on the circle such that length of arc AB, this length length of arc AB is equal to radius of the circle. Then the angle subtended by arc AB at the center is called one radian. The angle subtended by arc AB. You observe the diagram. This is the arc AB. Where is the angle subtended by arc AB at the center? You can find here. You see this. This is the angle subtended by arc AB at the center. This angle is known as one radian. One radian is denoted by one power c. I'll write the same thing here. One radian. One radian is denoted by one power c. This is the definition of radian measure. Now we will learn very very important points in this radian measure. Here I am going to write a formula that is L equal to r theta. In next class I'll I am going to do the proof of this. L equal to r theta. Here, what is L? L is length of arc. Length of arc. Okay. And what is R? R is radius of the circle. R is radius of the circle. And what is theta? Theta is the angle in radian measure. Theta is angle in radian measure. This is important. L equal to r theta. What is L here? L is length of arc. This is L. L is length of arc. What is r? r is radius of the circle. What is theta? Theta is angle in radian measure. We have this formula L equal to r theta. From this, what is theta? What is theta? Theta equal to L divided by r. So here you can observe that if L equal to r, the length L is same as R. What you will get? I will write the same point here. If L equal to R, then what is theta? Theta equal to 1. 1 radian. Theta equal to 1 radian. So, we use this formula frequently related to length of arc, radius and theta in radian measure. So, you remember this formula theta equal to L divided by R and another very very important note. Okay, you observe this diagram. I consider a circle and this is OA. What I will do now, I will rotate this OA through one full revolution. Rotate OA through some full revolution like this OA. Then OA, OB both coincides. A and B both coincides. What is this full revolution? We know that one full revolution equal to 360 degrees. However, I want to find this angle in radian measure. This is the angle. This is the angle subtended by this full arc at the center. So here as per this formula, what is theta? Theta equal to L by R. What is L here? L is the circumference of the circle. What is circumference of the circle? Circumference of the circle is 2 pi R divided by 
r so here r r will get cancel what you will get 2 pi we know that in this formula theta is a angle in radian measure so theta equal to 2 pi radians what is theta here theta is one full revolution so it tells you that it, this is the most important point in this 2 pi radians is same as 360 degrees so this is the relation between radian measure and degree measure 2 pi radians equal to 360 degrees from this what is pi radians pi radians equal to 180 degrees so these are the important points in radian measure in next class we will learn the proof of l equal to r theta i'll quickly revise what is radian measure consider a circle with center o and radius r let a comma b or any two points on the circle such that length of arc ab is same as radius of the circle then the angle subtended by arc ab at the center is known as one radian this angle is known as one radian and two important points are there in this uh, radian measure one is l equal to r theta from this we will get theta equal to l by r what points you need to remember in this theta is an angle in radian measure L is length of arc AB, R is radius of this circle. So, as we know that definition of radian, you can observe that one full revolution equal to 360 degrees, that is the angle subtended by circumference of the circle at the center. So, we know this formula theta equal to L by R, L is circumference of the circle, circumference of the circle is 2 pi R, 2 pi r divided by r, r r will get cancelled 2 pi radians. That means here one full revolution equal to 2 pi radians. We know that 2 pi radians equal to 360 degrees. From this we will easily get that pi radians equal to 180 degrees. This is the very very important relation in between radian measure and degree measure. I hope you understand this class. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. If you are not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, Subscribe now. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.